Okay. Let's go ahead and go over that one area Gotta again. Wrap it from here at this point all the way around to the back side where the blade starts up over here. On to right up onto the blade on the back side. Got it. About there. So you go about uh, four inches? Right. Okay. To where it's welded on. So what we got to do when we send these, we'll send, we can send a tooth with it. Mm -hmm. That way they can have a tooth, you know, to. They know they're not getting into it, but I say that that spear lock tooth comes all the way up on this damn thing, and then it's got a pin there that holds it on, you know. Okay. So that's really the main thing. We want to make sure this whole area here is all built yes, up. Yes, on the inside and the all outside. Of it, but do not weld on any of these teeth. The only tooth we want to weld on would be this the, the, here. Would be the ring position would adapter. Ring position adapter. Position we, one. We, which would be this one here, right? Yes. And we weld this up to how? Up to here. Up to there. Yeah. Up to there, and we, and then fill this all with weld, right? That's correct. The whole thing. One, two, three, three sides. Yep. Up to here. And I'm not so worried about the top of this thing though. I'm more worried about the face. Let's get the face of it. Just the face, not the top. Yeah, that's going to be interchanged. I would just use to get the face of that. Okay, so we'll just do the face of this piece right here. Yep. And that's it. All right. You know the base metal of this? Okay. I don't think it's anything special. It's just a good hard casting. I don't think it's cast. I think it's fabricated. It might be cast. The hub might be cast, but the rest right. is they right. weld them blades on, you know. Right. Cast steel. Okay. Over now.